Okay, guys, so in today's video, I want to have a look at Kadena Ferocity, which is this little tiny, tiny bubble and Bitcoin, of course, because Bitcoin is king. There's no question, but let's have a look. This is the market cap plus week. We got market cap right here. Um, the reason why I put Solana is to compare Veracity and Kadena to Solana. I don't want to compare it so much to Bitcoin because Bitcoin is almost in a trillion dollars. But look how small Kadena and Veracity is compared to Solana. So this means that Kadena, a layer one platform, a layer one blockchain with very, very high potential has a big, big chance to being the same bubble as Kadena. Veracity, I'm not saying has a big chance, but it has a lot, a lot of room to grow and it could be essentially maybe one fourth of Solana, which would be still crazy, crazy gains. So this is Crypto Bubble, guys. Very, very cool uh, website. You could even see the top 100, top 200, whatever you guys want. Very, very cool. Very awesome. Um, Kadena and Veracity are one of my top coins that I like. Um, of course, my portfolio is bigger, but let's have a look at Bitcoin. We're going to be diving into Bitcoin, Kadena and Veracity in this um, in this uh, TA real quick. Starting off with Bitcoin, because we know Bitcoin is king. Um, nothing too crazy to know over here. Bitcoin 3.5%. Let's have a look. So we have a resistance right here. Okay. And we've got rejected one, two, three, four. Okay. This is on the daily time frame, of course, and supported by the support trend line, which is a few uh, resistance as well. Now, the question is, are we going to finally break out and make a move to 45, 47,000, which is our next resistance? Or are we going to come back down and see this nice little bounce that we had like here and like here? So we had a few bounces right here on Bitcoin. Now, of course, if we do end up seeing this nice, crazy free fall downfall, of course, altcoins will follow. Altcoins will crash a little bit because Bitcoin is king. There's no question about that. Um, now, the thing is, is a lot of people are think this is bullish. Now, I'm not I, I'm leaning more towards the bear side. And the reason why is because too many people are bullish. And when too many people are on the boat, the boat tends to sink. We all know that, guys. Right. Right. Anyways. So if we were coming from the top and we were consolidating like this, making a triangle, then we would continue moving towards the top. I mean, coming from the bottom, sorry. But because we came from the top and we crashed down and we had a nice little triangle, then we're most likely going to continue towards the bottom, towards the downside. This is what symmetrical triangle work. That's how they work. That's how they play out. Okay. They usually go and break out towards the direction they came from. Okay. So because we're falling down right here, we're most likely going to fall down um in the next breakout of course anything is possible guys but look we got rejected right here which means a lot that means the bears are still in control am i 100 percent bearish no i'm i would say i'm 60 70 percent bearish i think we're gonna most likely come back down to thirty thousand dollars this is a big level if we zoom out we do have this area right here which is uh quite quite interesting so this is that for bitcoin i want to have a look at kadena of course this is Kadena on the daily time frame. And the reason why um, I put these lines right here, this would be this is a line that we're actually floating, consolidating in. This is this is this will be my next uh, buy and this would be my third buy. And my fourth buy would finally be at 2.20 um, because we essentially have no support. We would essentially free fall from there. But let's have a look at the shorter time frames because that's what matters now. Shorter time frame, something I forgot to talk about on the daily time frame, of course, is this was the trend right here on the daily time frame. The trend is your friend. We finally broke the trend, came back, retested the trend line. And this is essentially a pretty, pretty strong um, uh, trend lines resistance, in my opinion. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how uh, that plays out in the next few weeks. But we've actually been consolidating for um, since for about a week now, a little bit of a week, a week and a day. We've been consolidating on Kadena. Uh, buy right here, sell uh, uh, sell right here, buy right here, however you want to do it. I'm not trading this. I'm only accumulating Kadena. So um, it's definitely going to be interesting if we end up breaking up from this circle or this circle right here, which is 6.4 and under $6. I do have a stop loss at 5.8. Then my next buy will essentially be right here, um, which is 5.2, uh, 5 I believe. So assuming we do crash and come back down, that would be a 15%. Um, it would be a 15% sale. And of course it would be approximately 30% right here at 4.3, even more. If we do end up going to this target right here, this would be a 60% sale, which is very, very interesting. Um, but yeah, that's now on Kadena, very, very bullish on Kadena in the long term, guys, four or five years hold for sure. Veracity as well. Very, very bullish news. Veracity has been kind of, uh, 
not bullish, but we've been in this uh, uptrend, as you guys can see. But it's kind of following what Bitcoin's doing. This is, of course, on the one hour time frame. If we pop the daily time frame, oh, if we pop the, the, the if we pop, sorry, the daily time frame on veracity, then uh, we will essentially see that it's actually doing the exact same thing that uh, Bitcoin is doing. So um, we are in this descending triangle right here or this symmetrical triangle. And of course, because we are coming from the bottom, I wouldn't be surprised if we continue towards the downside. Um, now, the question is, are we going to get supported by here if Bitcoin goes to 30,000? Probably, probably not. Um, am I saying we're going to go down all the way to one cent? Probably, probably not. But this area right here, once we come around this area right here, this will definitely be my... Um, my buy zone, my accumulation zone. I'm probably gonna put a line right here and say this is the average, the middle. So I'm probably gonna accumulate around this area right here. I'm, I really want my average to be around one cent. I don't think that that's gonna happen, but uh, we're gonna have to see. I And of course, guys, if Veracity does break above it, then that's great. I'm still making money. I still have a bag of Veracity. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna accumulate some more if we break out of that. But we have to remember not to FOMO into the charts. We have to wait for confirmation. I would like to see two to three daily green candles, not big ones. They don't have to be big ones like that, but two, three daily candles above uh, that line, not only for Bitcoin, but for, uh, for Veracity as well. Um, this is how I wait for confirmation. Of course, guys, always put your stop losses. If you're a trader, if you have a trading account, don't make sure you're not over leveraged because things are about to get very, very crazy right now in the near future and in, there, in the next week or so. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens with Bitcoin and altcoins. If you guys like this video, of course, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.